Hey, what do you think of Shivam's case? A terminally ill child with osteosarcoma in bed number 10. His condition doesn't seem good and will only deteriorate further. Today he asked me, am I going to die? I didn't know what to reply. What do you two think? Yes, I know. The parents requested that we don't disclose the prognosis to their child. But I'm not so sure. As doctors, we have a duty to provide patients with accurate and complete information about their condition, especially when it comes to end of life care. I agree, but in this case, the patient is a minor, so the parents have the legal authority to make decisions on behalf of him. We need to respect their wishes. This is confusing. On the one hand, we must be honest with our patients. But on the other hand, we must also honor the parents' wishes while still doing what's best for the child. Yes, but there may be harm in disclosing the prognosis. The patient is young and may not fully understand the implications of his condition. It may cause him to worry unnecessarily. Wait, wait. Did you guys know prognostic non-disclosure is sometimes used in pediatric oncology to protect children from the emotional burden of knowing they have a life limiting illness you have to maintain a balance between being honest and protecting his feelings that's true but like in this case what if the child asks us directly about their prognosis do we lie to them or withhold information that doesn't sit right with me i think we can't lie but we can be evasive or deflect the question we can say something like we're doing everything we can to make you comfortable or Let's focus on what you want to do today. But you aren't considering the psychological impact of not telling the child. You know most of the time the child is actually aware of their condition. Maybe due to the changes in their body, the secrecy, the hushed conversations or even the internet. Yet the family maintains a mutual pretense where everyone knows the truth but acts normal. This may cause the child to feel excluded, sad, and cause them to repress their feelings or questions also what if not telling the child causes them to imagine worse even scarier situations guys don't forget giving the child complete yet age appropriate information may also help in compliance and medical assent for procedures but we have to consider the ethical implications not telling them the truth may cause them to lose trust in their parents and the medical team it may prevent them from making important end of life decisions and getting closure with loved ones that's true but we also can't ignore the parents desire to protect their child from emotional pain i know cases where the child has been terminally ill but fought on for a very long time the parents maintained that this was because not telling the child the diagnosis spared the child grief and allowed them some semblance of normalcy we have to respect the family's autonomy in these cases the parents play a massive role i think the best course is to have a detailed discussion with the parents explaining why it's better to tell the child the truth but what if they still don't agree they are already devastated by their child's condition why would you ask them to burden their child with the truth i see what you're saying uh, i think we should make it clear to the parents that the child has a right to know and include them in the decision making to decide the who the how and the when yes it's definitely a complex issue i think the decision ultimately comes down to what's in the best interest of the child if we can provide emotional support without compromising their quality of life then i think we should respect the parents choices and defer to their knowledge of the child both are good approaches I think each case is different and there is no one size fits all solution. We have to approach each case with sensitivity and empathy and make decisions that prioritize the patient's well-being. Ultimately, the family has to survive the death of their child. They have to feel like they did the right thing. What would you do if this was your patient? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you in the next episode. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe.